I know you're home, Jason. Saw your car in the garage. The hood's still warm. We just need to talk to you. Hey, could this possibly wait? No, it's important. I just want to... Sorry. Yeah, I doubt that. Um, Look, I'm looking for Michael. Uh, no offense, Detective, but you probably couldn't pick a worse possible time. Jason and I were just busy. Why are you here? Look, it's obvious Michael witnessed something the night Claudia died. I wouldn't know. Well, maybe Michael was at the cabin. Maybe he went to the cabin with his dad to look for his mom. However it went down, Michael knows the truth, and him not telling it has turned him apart. Okay, so if you convince him to talk to me, I'd appreciate it. He'd be a lot better off. Michael's uh, not here. Well, you mind if I look around then? Yeah, we actually mind a lot. Jason and I were obviously in the middle of something, and it would probably be better if you just come back tomorrow. Well, by that time, Jason and Sonny will have Michael out of the country. Are you kidding me? Does it look like Jason's in a rush to go anywhere? Look, I'm trying to prevent Michael from having to testify in front of his own father. If he speaks to me, everything will be okay. If he doesn't, the prosecution will issue a subpoena, and he'll be forced to do it. I'm sorry, I don't mind to be indiscreet here, but Jason and I really haven't had much of a long time lately, and we picked tonight and just tonight to do that. Come on, Dante, you've got to be like the most insensitive guy in the whole entire planet. Don't you know what it's like when two people just... Look, if you just cooperate with me, I'll get out of your hair. We told you we have no idea where Michael is, but we will pass along the message. You know, I'm just trying to help Michael. If you love him like you claim to, I'll help him too. to act on their passion except for us. Mm. Everyone in the entire world. Uh -huh. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but I did sort of just walk in on Jason and Sam, and all I could think about was you and us and why we've been waiting so long. Mm. Well, you... You almost died, for starters. I didn't. I'm here. And I listened to everything the Dodgers told me, and I think I was a very good boy, and I think I really do deserve my reward. Am I the brace? Oh my gosh! Oh, are you drunk? Wait, what about your, your wound? Is it, is it hurt? Uh, you know what? The, the wound is actually... Yeah, you know what? It, it's, it's healing up pretty nicely. Yeah. I mean, you can still kiss it if you want to. Wow. You seem... kind of desperate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There is... There is one way to fix that. Wow. That is if you want it to be fixed. I guess I've been wishing for us to be together. That's really good for me because I am <gasps> just happen to be in the business of wish fulfillment. Well, yeah, you know, I've been saving myself for you. Wow. Hmm. You know, this could have happened a long time ago if you weren't so stubborn. Me? Yes. Me. Yes. Wow, you are the one that's been running for the hills every time I've been trying to get with you. It is not very chivalrous of you to remind me of that. Show you how I feel. Okay, just shut up and do it already, because I'm gonna crawl in my skin if you don't make love to me. Hmm. Oh, uh, hi, you two. Um, don't mind me. I just came by to change into some adventure clothes. No mess. 
messages. I'm gonna just be a minute or two or ten trying on some outfits. Isn't Spinelli waiting for you somewhere? Um, he doesn't mind. He's doing research on his laptop on Chef Robert, our suspicious character. Oh, anyone I should know about? No, we've taken all precautions. Besides, I feel pretty safe with Spinelli. Hmm, maybe I should pack a picnic in case our stakeout takes a while. Oh, no, you, you can't, you, uh, you can't pack a picnic. We don't have any food. She's right. You should probably go to Martino's for a slice, or, or maybe the deli. They uh, get a little, uh, corned beef on rye. Yeah. I don't like corned beef on rye. You know what? You don't want to even eat in that outfit anyway. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> Bye. Bye. No, 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 she could come back. Your room. Yes, let's go. Okay. No, go away! Dante, it's Ronnie. I gotta talk to you, pal. Why do you have to answer the door? It'll be, it'll be, it'll be really fast, okay? I'll make it really fast. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, uh, hi. Um, police business. We need to go see Sonny now. I know. Carly, I've missed you. <sighs> missed you too. I don't want any man to come between us. Not Sonny and not Dante ever. I feel the same. But, um, I'm here to ask you to talk to Dante about his testimony. Not to lie on the stand to save Sonny. I already pitched that and I was shot down in flames. But, um, look, if, if, if Dante can show the slightest bit of sympathy for Sonny, it can make a huge impact with the jury. Dante needs to figure that out. Could you talk to him? Please. The police think that Michael witnessed something and they want him to testify against Sonny on the stand. We both know that Michael can't handle that kind of pressure, Lulu. I understand how you feel about Sonny. This isn't about Sonny, this is about Michael, so can you please talk to Dante? Without a warrant, that'll be inadmissible. You protected Sonny again? No, Ronnie, I'm actually trying to protect our case. Yeah, which will be a hell of a lot stronger when Michael tells what he saw the night his stepmother got whacked. Literally. <laughs> We're not going to need Michael's testimony. Our case is strong enough as it is. Yeah, well, that uh, hotshot prosecutor thinks otherwise. You're welcome into my house anytime. He's not. We're here to speak to one of your other sons, Michael. What are you thinking? Letting this dirtbag into my house to harass your own brother? I feel awful because you didn't call me out for keeping Dante's secret. And now you need my help, but I can't, Carly, I'm sorry. I had to ask. I realize for you it's different, but I truly believe that Sonny belongs in prison. I hate him for shooting Dante. And I would feel the same way about someone who shot the man I love. I understand. But I need to give you some advice. Don't let Dante see how much you hate Sonny. I've had a lot of experience with Sonny. And <laughs> he can be irresistible. And it may take a long time, but he will wear Dante down. I hope you're wrong. You know, it's a special gift that Sonny has. When Sonny loves you, you just want to love him back. And as badly as he wants Dante to be his son, there's a part of Dante who wants Sonny to be his father. Eventually, those two are going to connect. You going after Michael after everything he's been through? What kind of brother are you, Dante? I don't want Michael to abuse the law. 
I want him to respect it, unlike you. Then get a subpoena. I'm not turning my son over to the cops to be bullied and intimidated. You, know, you already got Michael out of the way, did you? Maybe even out of the country. Oh. So it doesn't matter if we get a subpoena because it's too late already. Hey, you know, Michael on the run is proof that he was witness to Claudia's death. I ain't... You know what, screw it, because we have ways to find him and bring him back. You know, we could use your son against you. And we will. <laughs>